Your bones are one of those things you probably don't think about very much when you're young unless you break something. But as you get older, your bone health comes into sharper focus, particularly for women. You may not be able to halt the progress of bone loss altogether, but there is a lot you can do to slow it down once it starts. The first step is to find the problem. <laughs> Betty Jo Zockmeyer will be 80 in January, and she loves to spend time traveling and enjoying retirement with her husband, Roger. Her chance to do that could have been cut short by osteoporosis. My doctor um, sent me for a bone scan because he suspected it. Her doctor was right. The scan showed she had osteoporosis. That was 10 years ago. Like many women her age, Betty Jo wasn't all that active in her youth. Probably I didn't exercise enough. Girls' sports weren't offered at her school, and even if they had been, she had a leaky valve in her heart that kept her from vigorous exercise. As an adult, her work always kept her at a desk. When she hit 70, she had her first DEXA scan and started medication to put a stop to her bone loss. And it worked. Her condition has improved. DEXA scan is now a part of her regular health maintenance. Oh, that, there's nothing to it. I've had it at least four times. Every two years they check to make sure it's not getting worse. It's comfortable and you get up and leave. You don't even have to undress, so <laughs> it's nothing to it. The test itself is fast and painless. I took the opportunity to find out how it works and to find out about my own bone health. All right, I'm just going to move this in the center of the table, and then I'm going to position that right over your hip. First, some basic information. Healthy people add bone mass until they're around 20 years old. Strong bones are built through a good diet that includes adequate amounts of calcium, along with vitamin D, regular exercise, particularly weight-bearing exercise, because that's the type that builds bones up, and heredity. Medications can also play a role in thinning bones. And some people's bones are simply more dense than others. After age 20, it's about hanging on to the bone you have. And at a certain point, bone loss begins. Uh, when you reach the postmenopausal uh, age group, they, you can see that uh, the bone loss is uh, more rapid. Dr. Francis says it's a big problem for some women. Women are more prone to lose their bones, especially since they go through childbearing and then there is postmenopausal age. The DEXA scan itself uses very little radiation. The scanner produces two X-ray beams. One is high energy, the other low. As the two X-ray beams pass through the bone, the scanner measures the bone thickness. Osteoporosis tends to impact the entire body, but the areas most typically scanned are the hip and spine. If you find brittle bones here, it's likely that you'll find them elsewhere. And occasionally, the tech will also scan the forearm. If you have uh, disc problems in the, uh, uh, in the spine, uh, uh, it can give a, high, a false high value. So in, in those cases, we have to do a forearm uh, scan uh, to look at the bone, bone density. A scan like this one can pick up osteopenia, or low bone mass, or osteoporosis, bones that are actually porous. The proper treatment, diet, exercise, or medication depends on the severity of the bone loss. Betty was on a bone-building drug for four years, and it had a positive effect. Though she'll always need regular scans, so far things look good. She says she feels blessed that she's had the option of stopping her osteoporosis in its tracks. I'm an active person. I love to travel, and I really don't want to be limited by <laughs> broken bones. If you don't know if you have it, next thing you know, you fall and break something, and you may wind up, <coughs> excuse me, wind up in a wheelchair or something. Instead, she's busy planning her next adventure. Osteoporosis affects men too, and sometimes it can be hidden. So ask your doctor if you think you are at risk. She 